Dad, I'd like you to meet Laura. How oh. do you do, sir? I say, you're gorgeous. Thank you. <laughs> I must say, he's charming. Yeah, not always. Laura has come round to help you. I don't need her or anyone else. I can manage very well on my own. Everything all right? Who are you? Actually, it's me, Paul. Who? I live here. What is this nonsense? Anne? It's me. Ah, there she is. Your father seemed a bit confused. Something wrong? Where's Anne? Sorry? Anne, where is she? I'm here. Congratulations on the film. I'm sure you've heard it plenty of times, but it left me an absolute mess in the best way. Uh, so good. Uh, Olivia, I wanted to start off with, considering the way the film is, it's filmed so cleverly, it really puts you in the mind of a dementia sufferer. Um, when you were filming, did you have like a, a little check sheet to notice where you were and when and like what happened when and all that kind of stuff? No, what was great was that we didn't need to. So I just, uh, well, particularly Tony, he, he didn't need to check where he was because that was the confusion was all part of it. But I just had to turn up and play the scene and um, I knew that actually it was Florian's job to, to make it all, put it all together. Uh, I, yes, I, I probably, maybe I should have done that, but I didn't do that. And uh, thanks for bringing it up now. <laughs> all right, it worked, whatever you did anyway. Uh, Florian, um, your original play has been translated into English before when you performed it in the UK and such, and then for this film. But do you feel there's anything that's been lost in that translation from that original version or is it pretty much a literal translation no i think um i was lucky enough to work with christopher hampton he has translated all my plays so we have this relationship and this trust and this friendship and i i trust him a lot and um no i think it's, it, it was just a great translation that great adaptation i would say that nothing was lost but uh, you know i can tell this is not my language <laughs> <laughs> Great. Um, Olivia, obviously we all know Anne is sensational in this film, fully deserving of the Oscar. Um, I just wanted to ask you, what was it like when you were filming some of the most powerful moments of this film? Because I thought I'd just be standing there just staring in awe pretty much. Yeah. Um, how was it? What's the memory? I did a bit. But look, <laughs> so when the camera's mainly on Tony, I'm standing just next to the camera, sort of going, wow, <laughs> now I'm here. Um, it was amazing, but you sort of, you, you do, um, lots of people ask, what was it like to meet him? And I was really nervous and terribly excited, but within five minutes, you just know he's just a really, really lovely, generous man. And so all of that can go and you can just really enjoy scenes together, you know, looking into each other's eyes, he's feeling everything, which means it's easy for me. My job is easy. I just, you know, react to him. Um, uh, it, but there were moments where you just go, oh, he's really good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how did that? Um, yeah, you can't help but be a little bit aware that you're working with him, but it was so enjoyable, lovely, made my job easy. Uh, Florian, I'm going to give you a chance to embarrass Olivia here. Um, when you were translating this, uh, did you always have Anthony and Olivia in mind as the lead roles? Were there anyone else or were you just say your dream casting? This is awkward. Shall I go away for a minute? <laughs> no, when I when I when I wrote it um, the script, I had Anthony Hopkins in mind, and that's the reason why I made the decision to do it in English. But I hadn't started the process of imagining the rest of the cast because somehow, somewhere, it, it, it sounds still a bit unrealistic to me that it will one day happen. And as soon as I met Anthony, I started the process of dreaming that. Maybe it could happen, and I have always, I have always adored uh, Olivia as an actress, and and I was so <laughs> excited about this idea that it could be her, and so we met uh, just after I met Anthony, and uh, and I was so happy that she she was open to to join us because uh, you know I think the, the film is what it is, uh, really thanks to her, and and I and I and I, I know that. Oh, Lauren. Great. <laughs> Great. Um, Olivia, um, the the final scene, honestly, I watched on a Friday night. It pretty much put me in a funk for the whole weekend. Like, just could not stop thinking about it. And um, what was your reaction to reading it in the script and then seeing it? Because I, I just can't imagine. <laughs> it, 
I was sort of excited to get to those scenes. Um, I'm very pleased I wasn't there when he was calling for his mummy. I'm pleased that was Olivia Williams because she's much braver than me. Um, but uh, <laughs> I don't think I had to cope with that at all. Um, it was always an honour to, to, to do it. Hard and upsetting and the upset is real because you... But it's hard to describe it. It's real but we know also that we're um, regurgitating an upset rather than... Uh, oh, I don't know how to describe it. I've never known. I've, I've never been very good at talking about acting. I'm so sorry. But, um, it was weirdly enjoyable to do and uh, uh, yeah. I loved it. <laughs>